Hello and welcome to Art Studio Nagoya. In today's video, I'm gonna make a simple video of how to load this camera, the Mamiya 645-1000S. Okay, uh, today I'm not gonna focus on other things that load in the, uh, the film, because I think actually it's one of the most interesting things to learn uh, when you get a new camera because maybe you came from digital world or maybe you you're coming from 35 millimeters and one of the things that I found was very difficult for me and I use other videos to learn how to do things was to load different cameras okay so how we load this camera the first thing that you're gonna find that's a little tricky you gotta load it from the back side you have this arrow here and you can try to push but it's not gonna work so maybe you think your camera is broken or something similar because you probably b bought this camera at second hand so it's like pretty sure you're gonna buy this camera at second hand so maybe you think oh uh, I got a, a camera that is broken or something actually this is the most tricky part this is divided in two steps you have to push here usually this is for holding like a piece of uh, cardboard of the box that the film cam came in uh, so you can remember what type of film you're using but in this case have this secret thing that you open the camera and honestly if someone don't tell you it's impossible that you're gonna find out that you have to press here and then do this to open it's absolutely impossible I think it's mad that they didn't put any mark or anything like push here or something but it's the way it works so you you need to know that that's the first step and I think the one of the most difficult things in this camera okay you have to do it this way okay then you can remove this part I don't know if you saw I pinch here you got you got a pinch here to release this separate part okay when you release this part maybe you make the mistake to close this thing just because you don't want dust to get in or whatever but then even if you try to push without this thing in it's very difficult to open it's really really difficult to open i don't know why so when it happens to me i use the key i put it under and i pull with the key a little bit even though it's difficult so you have to be very careful to do this but I'm gonna show you because I'm pretty sure this will happen to you okay you gotta be careful you don't want to scratch your camera or anything but you push here and you put this one in and push and then you can open okay and leave it open okay trust me leave it open because it's gonna be easier this way it's fine Okay, so the next thing you, you need to know is uh, if you have your spool in the correct place. In this case, I usually have the good habit of putting uh, as soon as I finish in the correct place. So you have some pictures with a description. This is the empty spool. This is the empty spool. So you're gonna put it here. Okay, match this one. When you match this one, you close here. Then this one will open too. And the most important thing here, because not all the cameras work the same, you see here the picture says like you have a white part of the film and black part of the film. So you have to follow that that picture. So we're gonna get some uh, fi uh, film, Fuji, uh, Fuji Color Pro 400, great film. You open the package, okay. That's go away, and then you gotta remove this thing. This is way better than Kodak, by the way. The design of Fuji is way better to peel uh, Kodak. It's pretty hard. Uh, you can see my video with Ricoflex and how I try to open the the Kodak one. Okay, you got this thing. So you follow the picture. This is the white part, and here you have the black part. Okay, that's the important thing. This black part have to match the drawing. Okay, so you're gonna put it this way. You have to move this thing till it gets into the hole, then close here. Black part is gonna go all the way around here. Okay, all the way around. And you're gonna try to put it in the spool. Okay, so move the spool. Well, it's harder than I thought because I'm, I'm looking through the camera, not directly like uh, to the film. So it's pretty 
interesting to try to load this way. This is also tricky. You should uh, try to keep some tension in the film if it's possible always. Okay, I got it. So try to pull as much as possible and then help the film a little bit at the beginning. Okay, when you think you, you got it, I usually like, uh, they have some, this one here. Mechanism, try to use the mechanism to see that uh, it's really holding the film, okay. So, now it's working till I see the arrow going up. You see the start and there is a red dot here, like red arrow here saying the start. So let's see if I can show you this one. You should match one with the other. Okay, we got it there. 100 up. Okay, so not this way, I mean. Okay, you gotta put it this way. It's kind of logical. And then you open again, you pinch, insert, be sure, push here, that is okay. Close, click, you, you hear that click. And then here's wh where you're gonna have your, you think to count the, the number of frames. Uh, and it goes all the way to one. It stops, cannot go farther. There you're good to go. And you don't need to spare any pictures to, like some cameras at the beginning, you, you use one or two uh, shots at the beginning to get into the correct frame. This is working from the first one, okay? And you only have 16, so you wanna you wanna keep it that way, like use all the photos. The other thing that you should, uh, uh, where is it? Ah, here. As soon as you load, and for me it's related to with loading film, so I'm gonna show you, you should uh, check that your ISO is in 400, okay? And that's kind of, should be your habit, okay? Uh, as soon as you change the film, check that the ISO is matching the ISO of the film that uh, you're using. After that, you're all good to start shooting. Okay, thank you for watching the video. I hope this can be useful uh, in the future for you. Like if you bought this camera and you're wondering how to use it, this is the first basic step. After all, after this step, it's just basically shooting like any other camera. So if you like it, please uh, give a like and subscribe. I will keep uploading videos to try to help people that want to get into uh, uh, film photography uh, with the little things that I know. Um, thank you for watching. Uh, enjoy shooting your camera. See you in the next video. Bye.